What's up, Pirates? Explorer Adrian here, and welcome back to another episode of Salt 2. Today, we are continuing where we left off in last episode, and we're going to jump right into it. So we're looking for Frederick. There we go. I think this was the room we were looking for. There's supposed to be a clue in here. We got here a tankard. Got a wonderful looking map. We got some dresser stuff. Who keeps clams in their dressers? I don't know. Uh, Frederick's Journal. Here we go. This should give us some clues. I've been tasked with studying architectures as of late, and I realize there's one major blind spot the guild has. Prisons. All the pirate prisons are almost completely unstudied. Everyone is afraid to venture near one, I suppose, and for good reason. But that's not going to stop me. This could be my chance to earn a new ranking in the guild. I must at least try. All right, so it looks like he was off to go study some prisons in the quest to talk to this guy. So did you find any information on Frederick's whereabouts? Looks like he went to investigate pirate prisons. He won't last long in a place like that. You, however, have skill with the sword and have proven to be able to handle yourself. Go and find Frederick. Free him and I will reward you for this deed. Here, take this map. It should lead you to a pirate prison. Well, that's handy. Have a map just laying around to get me to a pirate prison. Uh, let's just hope he's there. All right, well, we'll go find him. Okay, so we got a map that should take us to pirate prison. 17 East, 13 South. 13 South, so it'll be right there. Okay, so we'll mark it on the map. And that's where we're gonna take off to, all right. Next stop, prison. All right, so first thing in the morning and we've made it to our island for the prison. Uh, I just wanna to touch base. Along the way, I uh, found an island behind us here, this one, and it was a large natural resource island. I gotta suggest to you guys that uh, this game is, it's a little grindy sometimes, so you're definitely gonna be out farming and grinding quite a bit of the material. So if you do come across one of these large islands, I would highly suggest that you take the time, stop there, farm the thing up, uh, grab a bunch of stuff. These islands usually have multiple caves and little spots where you can pick up a ton of loot from them, as well as a ton of great resources and, and animals to take down. Um, I just wanted to share just a quick highlight with you from that island. We picked up a quest in one of the caves there, which was really neat. Uh, I'm assuming this is just the kind of quest that you can only get from finding it randomly in a cave, but I wanted to share the Legends of Evil. So when I was in one of the caves, I was taking out some of these thralls for the Frozen and Fear quest that we had, and inside the skeleton cave was this Legends of Evil where I came across a book, and I gotta bring it back to uh, speak to Godfrey at the Sea Scholars Guild, so we'll knock that one out. Uh, once we finish this one and head on back, we can kind of take out two birds with one stone. So it gets us a twisted blade. It's a um, evil, uh, some type of a crazy weapon, I guess, is what it's going to end up being. So yeah, really neat. So without further ado, let's jump onto our island and let's go see about finding ourselves a prison. That was perfect timing. Sucks to be you, piggy. And we'll get a little bit of farming done while we're here. While we look for our prison. Oh! Oh, those, oh wow. So that looks like a marshland island. That looks like maybe another natural or pirate island. But I'm not sure what that one is with all the stones around it, you guys. I want to check that out. That looks very cool. Oh, yeah. Usually it's not a smart thing to run right at the thing that's shooting you, but... I mean, I'm for me, I'm not going to complain. I'll take it. Uh, what pirate island wouldn't be complete without a uh, uh, hanging grounds? Iron. Hey, that looks like that could. I pull up my fishing rod. I have no idea. Um, that looks like it could be a prison over there. 
Don't mind me all up in your groin. There we go. All right. Okay, he slowed, so we should be able to catch a here. There we go. Full health, though. Might as well hit a second one. There we go. Oh, yeah, come on, Emmy. Yeah. <laughs> Two for one. I like it. We got a deer here. Man, it's got a lot of creatures on it. Eating for days. Oh, Goldfang. Yes. Yes, please. Yeah, there we go. And we gained a level. Beautiful. I love it. Here we go. Thief's Post. Is this not the prison? Oh, thank goodness for the slow. I love that. Yeah. Rather than taking on two at once. There's a cage, like a prison cell. Oh, the prison's probably inside that cave. That's going to be my guess. Okay, well, let's finish clearing out the camp. Come on, sucker. Get wrecked. And Pirate Warrior. Okay, come on in, fool. Yep. Yeah. Man, I love this mace. Mace, bow, combo. Pirate Cook. Here we go. Yep. Oh, <laughs> just before you can swing. Also, you guys, one thing I want to touch on, too, you can call it a, a tip or whatever you want to call it. Um, I ran into an issue again where I was uh, over encumbered. I found myself just full of stuff again. And I went through some of the materials and took a better look this time. Because I find that a lot of your gear weighs you down, uh, weighs a good amount, so you sell this stuff off. So you definitely want to do that. But I found that it was actually... What was really weighing me down was the bottles, because you pick up so many of them. These, I had like 500 bottles on me, which was weighing like 50 pounds almost on my person. So just because you come across a lot of bottles in this game, you guys, just make sure that uh, you're checking for things like that that might be weighing you down, because you don't realize just how many you pick up. So look at this, they're just, they're everywhere. And you will use them for potions and stuff like that, but... Yeah, you can just put those on your ship in a chest and you'll be good. Rock Bottom Dungeon. I'm assuming this is going to be the prison. Dear brother, I've been stationed as a prison guard for my new pirate crew. The coin is good and I've been doing the job for about four months now. I try to treat the prisoners as good as possible, though some of the other guards almost find it. An enjoyment to tease and mistreat them. Mother always taught us better than that, no? Anyways, I know we left things a bit rocky with our last discussion, but I hope it's all water under the boat now. Wishing you well, Preston. Okay, so... so this is going to lead me to believe that we are in the right place. Um, so we got an option to go down. I'm assuming we can't go through here. There must be a lever on the other side somewhere. Perfect. Pirate guard. Come on up, sir. Goodbye. Come on in. Oh, he's an archer. Oh. Don't be getting shots off. Oh, I see. I see a little... Yeah. Secret area. Perfect. Okay, what do we got in here? Iron, chest, crimson runner recipe, which I believe is a boat. I think we probably already got that one, but that's okay. Uh, let's see here. Jokes for pirates. All right, what do you got for jokes? With a big smile, the pirate just looked at her and said, well, what did the ocean say to the pirate? What, she replied, nothing, it just waved. Gosh, I think we read that one already, but. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Okay. Yeah, nothing too crazy back there, but it's always nice to find secret areas. Alright, I'm not seeing anybody down that hall. Okay.
Okay. Just want to make sure we're on the lookout for patrols. All right, so we are on the lookout for Frederick. Or at least possibly the remains of Frederick. Depending. Pull this lever. I hear whistling. So somebody's around. Gold, we'll take the gold. Ah, are you Frederick? We got a live one here. Frederick! Hey! I'm from the guild. They sent someone for me. That's surprising with the way Mason's been handling things lately. Anyways, I'm thankful. I'll gather my strength and get out of here as soon as I can. I'll meet you back at the guild. Thanks for your help. Alright, so we will see Frederick back at the guild. Quest updated, that's perfect. Oh, here we go. I don't know where you came from. I like that block. Yep, beautiful. Just sneaking up on us like that. Get wrecked, fool. Power captain's key. All right, that should allow us to get in somewhere here. And that would be the patrol I was talking about. Didn't even take my own advice. Just cut this. Yes, we will use the captain's key. Battle Ward Star Recipe. I don't know what that's going to be yet. Okay, take a look at that here in a minute. Uh, no mushrooms, no secret passages. Okay, and then there was one more hall down the other way here I want to check out. Yep, there it is there. Beautiful. Okay. And that is the pirate prison. All right, there we go. So with that, I will meet you guys back at the Scholar's Guild. All right, so back to the Sea Scholar's Guild. And of course, we're encumbered again. <laughs> yeah. We'll find the merchant. We'll get rid of a bunch of this junk that we don't need. I know that there was a merchant in here, so should be able to sell a bunch of this stuff. Yep, uh, let's sell. So let's go to the junk. Oh my god. There really needs to be a sell all button here. Okay, here's Godfrey. So we should be able to turn in this book quest that we oh, found in the cave. Do you need something? I found your journal about the cursed weapon. Ah, I see. Yes, cursed weapons are a rare and interesting thing. What is your interest in this? And I'd like to know more about this weapon as well. Maybe we can help each other. I can help you locate the weapon and you can keep it out of the hands of the wrong sort. We don't even know where it is. We should begin our search by exploring some cult shrines. You need to look around and see if you can find some research notes. Throughout my time at the guild, I've managed to learn a good bit of their language and should be able to transcribe it. If you find any notes on the dagger, bring them here and I'll transcribe them and see if they reveal any useful info. I've managed to procure a map to a nearby cult shrine. Start your search there. Alright, the Legends of Evil. So we've got the next bit of that one. And we need to speak to the Mason. Great job finding and freeing Frederick. I gave him a good slap for going off on his own like that. Uh, you've done another good deed for the guild. Here, take this recipe for a scholar's tapestry so you can decorate your ship with other colors. Oh, with our colors. Also, you are now an apprentice of the Sea Scholars Guild. Congratulations. Woohoo! Beautiful! All right, so we got a couple of new recipes, which we've got a few recipes here. We can probably get rid of some of the ones that we've already known. We've got fish and chips recipe. We'll learn that. Uh, we have got the Sea Scholars Tapestry recipe, which we just learned now. We just got handed by Mason. Battle Worn Star Recipe. So yeah, it, it's been a couple episodes since I've gone in and learned all the different stuff, you guys. Here's the Marauder's Vessel, uh, which is the next ship that we can learn. We've got this one as well too, which we already know. So that's, yeah, lots of good stuff here. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it here, you guys. Um, we got the next couple of quests done for the Sea Scholars Guild. So we've got two more quests to follow up on with them. Um, yeah, I really like it. I like the progress we've got so far. 
We've got a lot of good stuff on the go. I think next episode, you guys, I'm going to, I'm going to do a bunch of farming off camera and I'm going to hit up some of these islands, get a bunch of stuff, get our skills, our crafting skills uh, increased and see where we're at. I want to check out the new ships. We've got two blue quality rare ships to check out. I want to see the both of those, uh, which one's going to be better. And then we'll carry on with some more Sea Scholars Guild stuff here. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this one, hey, please drop a like on your way out the door and subscribe for more. Yeah, have yourself an awesome day, you guys. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh, I like the moths flying around. That's cool. <laughs>